Many thanks to Jerb, DC Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, Pandemonium, and Lion Loss for making this video possible. Yet another explosive has been introduced in DZ 1.18, which makes carrying these innocent blue gas canisters dangerous now, as they can explode inside your inventory if you're shot. So in this video, we're going to be sciencing the exploding gas canisters and go over the huge changes to other explosives in this patch too. Exploding gas canisters were previously introduced in a much earlier version of Daisy many years ago, which were patched out due to being a little bit overpowered for a camping accessory. Since then, mods were made to make them destructible again, but now they officially explode when ruined on any server in DZ 1.18. Compared to how deadly they were previously and how deadly the mods make them, they are anything but deadly in 1.18. They still inflict damage, but nowhere near enough for them to be considered deadly to other players, infected, or even a flipping chicken. However, because they do do damage and are the only explosive in Daisy that can blow up inside your inventory to damage you, it's well worth knowing how much they damage you inside which inventory slots and how these three do and do not function in Daisy now. The three gas canisters are all exactly the same across most stats. The only two ways that they are different from each other is how much gas they can have inside for cooking purposes and how much they weigh. This means they inflict the exact same amount of damage when they are destroyed, become destroyed in the same amount of time due to their durability being the exact same, and take up the same amount of slots in your inventory. When any of these become ruined, and this doesn't include the jerry can, the explosion will inflict a maximum of 21 health damage to players, but realistically it's around 15 health damage within 2 meters. When detonated inside any piece of clothing, it will inflict 13 additional health damage to the player and can explode inside any piece of clothing, and the clothing piece doesn't need to be ruined for the gas canister to ruin either. However, there are two ways to stop it from exploding inside your inventory, with one of them being putting it inside a container inside your inventory because items that are two layers deep don't take damage, or you can attach it to a gas stove top. With the stove top attached to the canister, it cannot explode from bullet damage, but it still can explode from explosive damage. This means that if you're making the gas stove bomb, the canister will explode too, doing additional damage to bases. Against bases, it does a fraction of the damage that grenades do, requiring 60 6 0 gas canisters to destroy a wooden wall. That's 12 times less damage than the grenade, and does very little damage to other nearby objects, so chaining explosives together is going to be difficult with gas canisters. However, where the gas canister really falls short is its damage to players when detonated inside fireplaces, inflicting zero damage, which I guess is going to be fixed because the gas stove inflicts normal damage when it's inside. The gas canister explosion also does normal damage when ruined inside of a tent or another container. One layer deep, it will explode, but it cannot be ruined and therefore detonated inside a vehicle's inventory. The amount of gas you have left makes no difference at all to the damage you receive from it, and even when it's empty, it has the exact same explosive potential as when it's full. Finally, for the gas canisters, they cannot be attached to the tripwire or the IED, you cannot combine them with other items to create improvised explosives, and are heard up to around 400 meters away with average volume settings. DZ 1.1a has been updated with some changes on how explosives work based on community feedback and fixes, with the biggest explosive change going to the Claymore mine and how they inflict damage in a circle around them now. So if you're stood anywhere within 8 meters of the Claymore mine, when it's detonated, it will KO you for 50 seconds and you will take up to 70 health damage depending on how close you were to the Claymore mine. This is the exact same case when it's in its kit form 2, so they are exactly the same when deployed or when they're in in the kit form, it's simply that when they are deployed, they will have a 25 meter cone in front of them that can kill players. When the Claymore mine is deployed, it still has a huge kill cone of 25 meters in front of it, and you can still combine it with the tripwire using the trigger. The maximum distance the tripwire combined with the trigger gets activated from now is 100 meters instead of unlimited range, which means the device it triggers must be within 100 meters too to activate it, and the detonator distance was also changed to 100 meters too for manual detonation. When armed, the IEDs can no longer be placed inside inventories at all, so sadly we cannot put it inside cars or other people's inventories, and once activated, IEDs will disappear completely, so you can only use it once. The new M79 rounds can no longer be attached to the tripwire and they all now activate when they become ruined, so they will explode much like grenades when they become ruined now. And finally, the detonator can be repaired with the electronic repair kit now and can also be turned into a battery when it's combined with a screwdriver, even after using it. So once you've used the device, you can take the trigger and you can turn it into a battery. 
If you like this video then do give it a like as it helps a lot and let me know what you think of the new exploding gas canisters and the changes that they've recently made to explosives. Do you like them or do you hate them? Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.